Welcome. So what I want to do is show you how to graph y equals x minus 4 squared. And what we're going to do is we're going to use our transformations, transformations from the vertex form, and we're going to use our parent graph. So when we look at a parent graph, we know that a equals 1 and h and k are going, both going to be 0. And if you can remember, a is going to be, um, a, what a is, how a is going to affect our graph is going to reflect it either up or down. It's also going to dilate, either stretch or compress the graph, where h is going to shift the graph left to right, and k is going to shift it up or down. So when I look at the equation y equals x minus 4 squared, I need to kind of determine and look at this and say, um, you know, what, what are my a, h, and my k? So my a in this case is still going to be 1. right? If I was to multiply this out, I would still have an x squared with nothing being multiplied except for 1. However, my h, and this is what's going to get a little bit tricky, is going to be 4, and my k is equal to 0. Now some of you might say, well, why is it? I, it's a negative 4 up there. You're right. But it's saying, and remember, it's x minus h. So I'm minusing h. Well, what am I minusing? I'm minusing the number 4. So therefore, h is going to be 4. So when it comes to graphing, that's going to become very, very important. Because when I look at this graph, h, remember, shifts the graph left or right. So since my h is positive 4, I'm going to shift it to the right 4 units. So I need to take this graph. And what I'm, what I'm simply going to do is just shift the graph over 4 units. So the first point I always like to sh uh, shift over is the vertex. So vertex was originally at 0, 0. Now I'm just going to move it over 4 units. 1, 2, 3, 4. OK, so now that's my new vertex. So we could say the vertex of this problem is going to be at 1, 2, 3, 4, at 4, comma 0. Now, also, notice that the axis of symmetry, remember, has to go through the vertex. So if I just shifted over my vertex 4 units, that means I have to shift over my axis of symmetry 4 units. So the axis of symmetry, the axis of symmetry is now going to be x equals 4. So now let's go and take a look at um, and continue on with this. So if I know the axis symmetry equals x equals 4, now let's go ahead and determine what the rest of the points are. Now since my a equals 1, I know the relationship of my points is going to be over 1, up 1, over 2, up 4. So I can just continue that pattern over here. And if I just go 1, 2, 3, 4. So I have to go over 1, up 1, over 1, up 1, over 2, up 4, over 2, up 4. And that's just going to give me a general idea of where my graph is going to look like. And obviously, we see that my graph is going to continue going upward. So we can determine that my vertex is now going to be a minimum point of my graph. And then I'm going to have a y-intercept and an x-intercept. Now, um, this is going to be off our graph. So it is going to cross the y-intercept. right? You guys can see that this graph will eventually get to crossing that, um, my uh, y-axis. But we need to determine and say, you know, well, when, when is it going to cross um, my y you know, intercept? Or when is, it going to, when is my x going to be equal to 0? So when we could see that, y equals 0 plus over 4. x equals 0. Oh, OK. I got you. So what we could do is find the y-intercept. Well, the y-intercept is when x equals 0. So therefore, when I put 0 in for x, I get negative 4 squared, which is um, positive 16. So we could say that point is 0, comma 16. Now, the x-intercept, we can actually see on our graph. And our graph, we can see that the graph touches our x-axis at the point 4, comma 0. So therefore, that's going to be our x-intercept. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you find the new graph by applying our transformations using vertex form. Thanks.